All right, guys, it's day 118, and we got legs and shoulders. Oh, I had the exam with today, dude. Oh, you did? Fuck, man. Oh, oh God. God. <laughs> I don't know if I passed. That's what I'm worried about. Oh, shit, why? Because, bro, I'll tell you in a sec. Oh, yes, you're just warming up. It's not yeah. a big deal. Uh, basically, like, I wrote the exam, but I, I, like, like, the prof told us to just look after the review questions. That's what I mean we did. But then there's just some questions on the exam that weren't on the review questions. So I got fucking... It's whatever, but it just sucked, because probably, I'd say, a good, maybe, like, one-sixth of the exam was shit I just didn't know. And it's oh, like, oh, shit. That's just like, I'm looking, it's like, it's like, explain this. It's like, I don't fucking know this. Mm, so, I don't know, I need a 60 to pass. Oh, okay. Maybe it's just it's like honestly though, bro. Thinking about it now, yeah. I probably for sure because I went the one six I told you part. Maybe no, it's more than one six. Maybe like one fifth of the exam I didn't know. So like I already, I feel like I almost automatically from twenty marks down. Yeah. So they I needed to get like so then only had twenty more mistakes possible. Maybe we'll see. But if not, I can retake it. It just it sucked, bro. Because I, I felt like I was pretty good. And then it's just like, oh, there's all this shit that we needed to read in the textbook. I didn't really read the textbook, which yeah. is kind of my fault too, but uh, I guess I was under the impression, like the prof said, you study that, you'll be good. I'm like, okay, I'll study that. Shit. It's like, fuck. Is it like a multiple choice or no? Oh, it's, oh, no, okay, it's 11 definite, what was it? 11 definitions, 10 multiple choice, and like 78 short answer. Oh. So, it was a lot of short answer. That's what made it tough, right? Yeah. Well, but but it all, all the like sorry not 70, 78 marks worth. So okay. the multiple choice was maybe, maybe for the short answer maybe there's only like thirty questions or forty questions. Just, no, probably less than that. Yeah. But yeah, that's what it was like. So, uh, yeah. That was a long exam. I was in there for like three hours. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just falling asleep. Oh my God. Three hours. <laughs> Yeah, it's so weird. It was actually hot today. I haven't really been outside that much, so... I was in the exam for fucking three hours, so... You know, I was like, whoa, where am I? That's nice out today. Yeah, it was weird. For like... Is it 10 or 24? I know, right? What are you doing now? Um, Barely two plates? Is that... Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Should we keep the 25 on, right? Yeah. So do 25 and then a 5. Yeah, put the 5, I'll do 30, and then if I want to do more, I'll do 35. Put the 5 for sure. Ooh. Fart boy. Fart? Okay, so 30. And then, yeah, so then to put a 10. That makes it. 40. Just buy off the 2 plates. Yeah, let's do 2 plates. I'm going to try it next week. Yeah, my legs are fucking, I don't know why today they're like, despite, what did I do for the, the temporary workout? I didn't work out yesterday because I was studying, oh, lazy yeah. boy. I don't know why my legs are sore. I don't know why. Because we need legs on what, Monday? Yeah. It's only Thursday. My body's just old and dumb. It's like, don't, don't recover. Just die. Bro, 
I'll show you later. I don't know why, I was looking at my old Dropbox of like pictures from like, let's say five or six years ago. Yeah. Dude, I was so fucking skinny, it was crazy. <laughs> I literally, like, I'm looking at the before and after, I'm like, holy shit, that guy was a skeleton. <laughs> well, just thinking about it, bro, like I've gained 40 pounds like over the last, like, I don't know, year and a half, two years. But no, obviously, I really plateaued because I think what happened was I did the milk shit and I gained like 30 pounds in like three months. It was, just, it was terrible. I don't know, it's crazy, bro, how much you can change if you want to make a change. Like, what did you look like six years ago? Were you fat boy still or no? Still fat, yeah. That's nuts. Like, I know it kind of sounds, I don't know why I'm getting so philosophical here, but sometimes you look at old pictures and you kind of relive the moments a little bit. You kind of like yeah. recognize what part of your life that was in or what was going on with you. I'm like, man, my life kind of sucks. And then I look up here, I'm like, my life still kind of sucks. What the hell is this? Yeah. Is it, is it balanced now? Yeah. This feels so weird. It always feels like th like I'm like this, but I'm not. Oh, I don't know why. Straight. Just like I got something wrong with my my hips or something. Just straight. <laughs> All right. Bucks for that? Fuck. I would have paid probably a more than more than that. Maybe it's not a target, it's not really a target group, right? Is it? It's a, it's a thing like, all the casinos are closed. Man, for a little, man. I guess so. But it's just like, you're, the thing that kind of sucks is like, not that I don't want to support the old people, that's participants, because I think they're like, it like, doesn't matter the age, whatever, as long as they're legal gambling age. That's one thing I'm concerned about too, is how's our platform going to wave people? I don't know like, how any gaming platform, but how do you make sure? How do you make sure that people are 18 or over when they're playing? Um, or should I put a waiver like if you're not over 18, you can't win? And then yeah. so if your name like, gets pulled like and, you're, and you're under 18, yeah. Oh yeah, that's that's all taken care of by the supplier. Oh, oh cool. Yeah. Cool. Well, I'm thinking for like the 
Remembrance Day event, like, what should we do? I don't know. I don't know, that's what I mean. But I was kind of was thinking of, like, in case we can't do the whole like a poker night. Maybe you could do a poker night. I guess we're just worried about the, the new the new limit with people, right? That's right, yeah. Sure. So that's why, I don't know, like... 25 people now. Yeah, maybe it's just me. Like, I, I hope it's at least way before the polar dip. I don't know, because then, like, how, how we can't do a polar dip with, like, a 25-person limit, yeah. yeah. So we could... We'd have to do like three different time slots. Yeah, like something like that. Morning, afternoon, evening. We'll see. Polar dip with it's not even cool enough. The weather's gonna be like this. And yeah, it's, like, it's like, okay guys, there's no ice or anything. Let's go to the in. polar dip, not to snow it all year. Oh, those polar bears sure love weather like this. I don't know, that's just me. Being it's right. negative, but... <laughs> Who the hell wants to do a pull it up when it's not cold? sense anymore. <laughs> like, I'm curious, okay, when you when you write an exam, yeah. if there's something you absolutely don't know, do you try to bullshit it or no? Yeah. You do still? Okay. Yeah, like, I'll come back to it and fill it in. And just put something there? Just to get part marks at least. Do you feel like you ever get part marks? Yeah. Sometimes, though. Sometimes the person green, but I feel that. I'll give them one. One for the effort. 
I left some blanks. I'm like, I actually have no idea how to answer this. You know, like, I'd be like, it's like, talk more about this term. I was like, I don't know what this is. Uh, or no, it's like, what is this term called? I'm like, I don't know it. To like, expand upon this term, I'm not gonna be like, mumbo jumbo, mumbo jumbo. But oh, sure, close enough. Like, no, I don't fucking know. It's like, what, 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 is, what is molto? What's the ghost tower? Oh, I'm from Malta. Oh, so where are you? <laughs> Good camera. <laughs> you got a noise for her. Wow, Sam, you like their photo. It's fun because like you have to be a lying sneaky boy. I think if you're really good at lying, the people say, "No, I didn't do that. <laughs> I totally was thinking about you." Yeah. Oh, it's a complete mistake. I didn't mean to leave you on the balcony. That's like truly. Oh, I thought you loved to be there. <laughs> that was an adventure for you. Yeah. But man, you see the new graphics card? Uh, uh, what is it called again? Uh, 3090. The yeah. Whole, the whole are, are you gonna get it? No. <laughs> I'm gonna explain. It's crazy. Yeah, it's nuts. It's uh like the the 3080 is better than the uh 2080 Ti that was like before. 
thousand bucks. Wow, really? <laughs> What's the thirty eighty? Is it like a small size card then? Or what is it? It's a, it's not the biggest, it's like five ninety something. Oh okay. Five or ninety bucks. And the biggest one is like fifteen hundred. Okay. Wow. So they were really like, oh we figured something out. Really fast. So like, oh if you bought that last year. Yeah, I'm, I'm a, I got the hardest thing about like staying like up to date with. I've always been. Yeah, it's like electronics. I always buy older, older like computer parts at least because I don't really care about the perfect graphics. Yeah. Unless they're like, whoa, yeah. I don't really care. So yeah. But when it comes to I don't know when it comes to phones, I like having the newer phones. Like my 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 current phone's pretty old. It's S9, but it's like what two years, two years. So good. So it's still newer, but I don't know. I, I don't I don't know one of those people that like fucking like having those ancient I phones. I got a one buddy. I think you met him. He he always uses a, he uses a flip phone still. Still? Yeah, that's yeah, hilarious. That, dude. It's uh, what the fuck? Al, you know Alex Radek from Jelly, the guy we saw at uh, Jose's. Yeah. You know, the guy that like yeah, yeah. the beard, he's bald. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like the flip phone with he's, like he, the, the yes. hard buttons. Yes, text. yeah. He's got a flip phone like a motor. <laughs> How does he text? He just texts like that. Like like you got like two. Yeah. Texts. That's stupid. It's crazy. You know he loves it. Well, that's like that's like two like holding you back with so much. He loves he, he loves it though. It's actually just kind of nuts how he has it, eh? Like, imagine, like, I don't know if he uses it for internet or anything, but, like, I don't know. Yeah, there's, like, no apps on it. Probably not. It's, probably, it's like a flip phone. Well, it's, it's funny that they brought, like, the flip back. Oh, really? Yeah. And you know what? They brought, like, uh, I think it's, uh, Motorola. Oh, is it, like, it's, like a, a whole screen, but it flips, and then you can close the shut. I don't trust that. Yeah. Do you feel like they're, like, the screen's susceptible to being broken at all? Like, so, uh, the screen folds, right? Yeah, it's, like, the bendable screen. Oh jeez. Maybe I'm wrong, I'd be it's worried about that. Yeah, it's and who cares? They're gonna be like, oh, 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 oh. Like, who fucking cares? It's just like the next game they can tell this. Yeah. Just to make sales. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's impossible to keep up. Like, every year your shit's outdated. Yeah, I feel you. And for what? Like, who cares at the end of the day? It's like, oh, you know? I can load this. Five seconds faster? She got a new camera. <laughs> so you take better YouTube videos. Man, I don't know why this feels extra heavy today. Yeah, it did for me too. <laughs> Little do I know, you're fucking. For the YouTube videos, you probably use fake weights. Look at what's gonna be a hooch. Fuck, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> feels extra heavy today. Wedgie boy, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Trying to position yourself? Whoa! I like that. Yeah, apparently it's like, uh, if you have like a camera that goes over 30 minutes, then that's considered a video camera. Oh. And then they have to pay like more taxes, like when they sell it or something stupid. Well, oh, that's silly. I yeah, didn't know that. Yeah, so they limit it to 30 minutes. That's funny. It's dumb. That's I wasn't looking, I was probably doing it, he just went out there and took a shit. Yeah, you want to toss them with Man, dude, sitting down seems so cool right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fuck, man, I don't know why today I'm just 
I think it's probably because I took yesterday off. I'm just not feeling it. Yeah. Did you get enough sleep yesterday or no? No. I try to go to bed early, but it's just... You ever have it like when you're post-exam and things start... Or pre-exam, you start running the questions through your head yeah. and shit. Like, and then at the end, I actually really... It sucks because like... I would have rather, like, let's say I knew I passed for sure or failed for sure. Like, you're, you know, you get a yeah. feeling after you're in an exam, you're like, oh, I completely fucking bombed that. Yeah. Then at least you know, right? Or you're like, oh, I definitely did well, I passed. Mm-hmm. But this, it's like, I don't know. Yeah. With me not knowing basically one fifth of the exam, it's like, I literally, like, got to question 42, and all the way to the last question 48, I had, like, nothing. I'm like, oh, there goes 21 marks. Get it out of there. See ya. So. When are you getting your results, you know? I don't do six weeks. Well, I'm six weeks! I know, dude, you gotta fucking ship it off to Toronto, and then <laughs> some person's gonna try to read my chicken scratch. They'll be like, six weeks. They'll be like I'm not gonna fucking pass this guy, because this guy fucking can't even read his handwriting. That's crazy. Yeah, bro. Wow. Right, we'll it's almost two months, Jeez. I know. I, I guess, I don't know why it takes so long, but yeah, whatever. Oh, boy. I'm stuck. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> no way. so many butt muscles now. Yeah. So as we stand up and I'll clench my butt together, it feels like it's like fucking it's two, like planets, two planets colliding. It's like <laughs> Yeah, it feels like a powerful machine. It feels like <laughs> like you go to like a put something in there, dude. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let's say you go to like a fucking tool and die shop or like a welding shop or like no just put the fucking piece of Blake's ass will crush it. <laughs> Powerful, but Shit, okay. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> he was like, I don't fucking piece of smell it. <laughs> that was me framing you, by the way. I'm like, what's this smell like shit over here? <laughs> yeah, he's trying to set me up. <laughs> Sitting down? Oh, I'm so tired now. We got this, and we got cob braces, Cats, and we got shoulders. The shoulders. It's not bad. What? <sighs> First time you're working out today, or did you already do cardio? But oh, it was first time. Oh, lazy. Yeah. Today. How's work been? Good? No, it's so busy now. Oh, yeah? It sucks. It sucks. Do you like when do you usually get done? Like around 4 30 now. Oh, that's not bad. It's 5 yeah. Well, how early do you start? You start early though, right? Eight? I got 8. Okay, so it's not the worst thing. Like on and off. It's not like you're fucking. I don't know. I just know people would do it. Like, you start at 8, you get done at like 7 p.m., 8 p.m. at night. It's like. I don't know how people do that. It's like, it's just, like that's the thing I don't get. I don't, I don't want to get too into it, but do they expect you to put an X amount of time, or do they expect people to just work like a ton? Like, uh, I don't know. It's it, weird. It like depends on the place. Cause uh, my manager was saying he's like, if you're doing over eight hours, just let me know. Overtime. Oh, okay. So it's cool. So they it's they know to pay you. Okay. So yeah. it's not like they're expecting you to like, oh, we're not gonna give you overtime. You're on salary. It's you have to work, work this much still. Yeah. Because I, mean, no. I would hate that, right? It's uh, like, yeah. Some places do that. Yeah, it's like, hey, you're gonna work a 50 hour work week and get paid nothing. I'm gonna get only paid for 40. Yeah. So. Sorry that you uh, spent like 60 grand on student loans. Yeah, you're yeah. fucking crazy. Yeah, that's my first job, dude. Really? That kinda yeah. sucks. You can stay late and don't get paid. Yeah. What like, are you oh, complaining yeah. about? Everyone else does it. Yeah. You're like, well, you have experience <laughs> too, so you already kinda of have to. I'm just gonna sit here the rest of the time. See the thrust in there. Yeah. 
there's nothing to say. Oh yeah, there's a UFC fight on Saturday, <laughs> but I'm thinking like, where the hell yeah. is going to be played? <laughs> Cause that that twenty five people thing is that gonna be for patios? Too? I don't, I couldn't tell you. Oh. Like, there's more there's more than twenty five people in Windsor patios. I think the thing they're mostly concerned about is these parties. People aren't socially distancing, right? Like whereas bro. people are socially distancing in patios and stuff. But bro, I've heard like they started to send bylaw officers around to watch people to make sure they're not doing stupid shit. Like uh, my brother, my, my I heard like. So when I worked the other day, went to Cure Craft Brewery. Yeah. And there's a bunch of by- there's a bylaw officer there watching people eat the whole time. What the hell? I know. That's so dumb, dude. That's so a waste of taxpaying dollars. Yeah, I think they're gonna really start cracking down on people. I don't yeah, know. that's stupid. Which is it's it's stupid, but at the same time, maybe it's necessary. Honestly, this might be too much of a hot take. If it were up to me, I would just be like, hey, if you think the virus is gonna kill you, stay home. If not, come out and party. Yeah, right? Honestly, because anyway, all the young people would get it. We need to be to develop her, her immunity. Yeah. Not worry about it. But then the people are saying, well, we don't know the long term effects of it, right? So. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I was going to take that off. Clearly. What about the long term effects of the PC? Oh, shit. The long term effects of a big kick that bar. Yeah. Dude, I had to kick up, kick that bar before bed. It's yeah, you fucking idiot, bro. That'd so good. That'd be so good. I didn't die. That'd be so good. Wait, yeah, wait. Yeah, All right, then I got kind of screwed. Like, uh, on Wednesday, my mom had a... She bought everybody chocolate, so I had a Reese's peanut butter cup. Ooh. That was bad, but so, I yeah. got it. <laughs> pretty good. Well, you did 25? Yeah. I'll try to tell you. You have to play the side. Yeah. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
that's still so funny saying yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. That was crazy. That was from like two weeks ago. That's still there. Yeah. The 12th, man, the event, right? That's fine. More than two weeks, I guess, right? No, we're at two weeks. When are we at 24? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, a little more. Turn 26 this year, bro. Oh, oh, oh. Turn 25. Oh, so. Okay, November baby, dude. <laughs> it's so nice being November baby. Or not be like a late birthday. Yeah, late birthday. Right. Yeah, because everybody else is like, oh, I'm 26. So, so 24. But honestly, bro, we're still pretty young, eh? If you think about it. Yeah. And like, especially even after, uh, you know, now. Yeah. You still have fun when you're in your 30s. Yeah, right. I don't know. Yeah, dude. that's true. Honestly. Like I think the more I think about it now, the more I think like basically thirty year olds are just like us, but they have more, they have more money. I they guess. have more money. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good Stuff point. A good thing. I don't know. I, I just know sometimes people like CEOs of companies and that they're actually really fucking stressed out. Yeah. And they're just like, yeah, just like more stressed than the workers. Yeah. Yeah. I just need to like set it up right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And yeah, I'm just like, the managers get paid way more, right? Yeah. But like they're working for like six or seven every day. Yeah, it's not. They're like more stressed. Yeah. It's like, what's the point of that? I agree. I've always They're not happy. Principle, like what? If, like if more money equates to less free time, is it worth it? Because like I don't know. Yeah, I feel right. Like you can have all the money in the world, but time is like, you know, you only yeah. have so much time. Yeah, it's limited. Yeah. So like when you're fucking sixty, you're like oh cool, I got this big house. I have a nice car. Deprive myself of doing anything all these years. We got thirty-five. Oh, so do 30. how much you want to do? Ten. Yeah. Come with that first. Ooh, what are you doing, man? Cool. Shit, I don't know if I can do five. No, it's okay. Put five on. I'm gonna put the 25. I'll do 15. Oh, put five? No, it's okay. You put the five on the side, dude. Don't hurt yourself. For what? It's, like, <laughs> it's kind of funny, like, when you think about it, we're going to play and, hey, Let's put this 25 on this 10 to be less lazy yeah, and we have to do more work out of it. So work. it kind of contradicts itself. <laughs> it's like, ooh. Well, oh. I don't want to lift this, you know? <laughs> it's a fucking nice day out, though, eh? Yeah, it is. I kind of want to go do something. I've been inside too long, man. Mm -hmm. The only time I went out was to see the stores. Oh, geez. And they were nice. Oh, man, that's good. Looking at you. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Big boy. Okay. I'll try it then. If I can't do 10 in the last rip, I'll just miss your line. The last set. But yeah, dude, like. It must suck for you, like, uh, having to be inside all the time. Like, well, just yeah. working from home, it's a good thing, but at the same time, bro, like, unless you go out and do stuff on your things, you're not getting out of your house. Yeah. I know it sounds kind of dumb. I'm staring at screens, dude. Oh, you are so dope now, actually. I don't know if I've just been dumb, but, like, I've been starting to listen to music in my earphones at work, and no one yeah. cares. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Because someone at work... Like, uh, um, the ones with no wires? No, I still have a wire one, but I'm not gonna get one with no wires to put in there. But no, like, I'm kind of just thinking, like, this whole time, I contemplated like whether I should do it or not, and then someone else, yeah. oh, a few medical workers started doing it, and I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna do it too. And my boss came up to me today, and she didn't ask me for something, I didn't, she didn't say anything, so. Yeah. I don't know if it's gonna yeah, be yeah. an issue later, but. Chrysler, like, a, so much people did, just have like once in a wire, so they just keep like one in. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, it's fun. You listen to pod- podcasts and stuff like that. So, that's been really nice. It's been a huge quality of life for me. Yeah, dude. Nothing is sitting there. I just like, nothing. Oh, you're a music? Nothing makes you want to work more than this. Well, that's been dope. Well, honestly, one thing I've been so fortunate for. I'm not just saying this because I'm on camera. I work with such nice people. Like yeah. that's something that's really dope with me. Like the job, I can't say I like. I don't know where I'm at right now. Who knows where I'm gonna end up there later? But like, I don't know. I work with really good people. That's something that's really nice. People are always there for me. They're always good. I haven't really had any issues with anybody. Obviously, really there's like conflicts you're gonna have with like you know things once in a while, right? Like you yeah. do something incorrectly, blah blah whatever, blah blah blah. Yeah, Someone kind of gets that blah. happens, right? But like the grand scheme of things, I got it pretty good. That's good then. Yeah, it's very important. If you were working with like toxic people, oh, yeah. you're gonna feel like shit every day. That's the thing, yeah. Like even if I, even if I was taking duffel that I'm making now, if I was working in a place I hated going with crappy people, I wouldn't want to do that. Fuck that. Yeah. A location eventually, eh? Do you want, sir? A location. Just like yeah. a place. An office. Yeah, which you can get something like in Windsor, but. It's like me, you, Simon, and it's like, hey, yeah, hey, hey. I have meetings. It's like, don't it, too. Yeah, it's like, go to doing the meetings. It's like, it's like, uh, Simon, we got a meeting. It's like, wait. It's like, got a bunch of centipedes all over the floor. Bag of chips. Curious, how old were you when you got your first cell phone? It was pretty late, right? Oh yeah, I think like 18. Or oh wow, okay. I was, I was pretty late too. I was like 16 or something. I'm in grade 12, I know that. Oh, okay, yeah, I think I got my grade 11 or something. Yeah. But now it's like kids these days. Yeah. Right away, they're getting it. Phones in like grade fall, like grade one. I know. They're just getting addicted right away. It's so bad. It's such a strong addiction. Bro, like I said, like how? I think one of the reasons I don't, I know you can, you can say the argument race them right and stuff like that, but I just wonder, like, having kids, like, in, in, in an era like this, it's just, I think the younger generation is going to have a really hard time existing, because, like, I feel like as humans we thrive off of social interaction, but we're kind of getting into a society that doesn't really want to, like, that's just promoting isolation, right? And it kind of sucks, because, like, such as COVID, and, and, like, yeah, they're, like, pushing it as a new norm, like, they don't want communication anymore. I don't know, I, guess it's just, I don't really know why, it's just, I guess probably you're more, I don't know, as a consumer, if you're at home, you're probably on your screen time more, yeah. or they don't want, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, maybe the doctor doesn't want you going out to the they want you to just kind of stay home and stop talking to other people, consume, yeah, something like theories, but like, I don't know, it's, it's I think it's just kind of nuts, because like, I love talking, to, I love, that's what sucks about COVID for me, I love kind of going out, you know, talking to random people, yeah. it's just weird, because kids these days, I don't know if it's, if they don't like to, or if they just like being with technology more, you know what I mean? Because I know that some people might get, I think there's some people that say they're introverts, but I really just kind of feel like being alone is so awesome now, that people, yeah. I mean, maybe, not, maybe yeah. they're not introverted, maybe they're just like, hey, like, 
I don't really want to go do any work because all this technology is so enticing, but it's just like, it's all right here. Yeah. I'm getting the dopamine hit. Thing. Exactly. And like, maybe I'm wrong, but I always wonder like, if people younger than us were happier, oh sorry, older than us, oh, yeah. were, they were happier when they were younger, right? Because like, yeah. they probably want to do shit. And now sure, people are like, oh, the quality of life's great. There's so many things you can do. But I honestly really wonder if like, I don't know. Cause like, like, as far as I know, like depression's been like on the rise. Everything is crazy. I was, uh, I was looking at some documents. They're yeah. saying like once social media came out, it started increasing. Like, yeah. At a really rapid rate. Yeah. It's and like, it's like not just like one age group, it's all age groups. Yeah, it's crazy, man. I don't so, know. So, you know, you're like comparing yourself to other people. You know, that documentary, like, I really did you watch it? Yeah, I did watch it. Good, eh? Yeah, that's pretty good. But I think it's a good point. Like, realistically, there should be regulations on social media because it's got such a heavy influence on people. And like, and there's been other things that have, that have heavily influences in, in like, I don't know. There's restrictions, or like, you know, for smoking, all this shit, right? Yeah. Like, for, for drinking, all that stuff. It's like, well, this, this is something that's got a lot of power to it, right? So, I get, I get, I get, yeah. yeah, so who knows? Even me, I've started to, well, I don't know. I think I'm pretty good. Honestly, I know every price is not. When I'm on my phone, like, I don't know, so sometimes I'll pick around, but the majority of the time I'm kind of like, I don't go on my social media stuff. I think the thing that entices me most is like participating on like, I don't know, reading news or forums and stuff like that. It's like, yeah. fill my brain with lies. So, incel.com. Incel.com, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, uh, I'm logging back in Incel Master 62. <laughs> but, uh, but no, like, I, I catch myself sometimes on TikTok scrolling. Why am I oh yeah, I'm full time. Shut this off. Yeah, dude. It's just a waste of time. Well, I agree. Like, you, you, you kind of, it, it's just kind of crazy because, like, why is that entertaining too? You know, you're still watching these stupid videos. Instagram too is all like garbage ads. I know. I think it's so bad too. In YouTube too, they make, they, they post like any ads. Like they're all fucking scams. Like the majority of them, like oh, yeah. like. I think I don't get too. Years old, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, yeah. People must fall for it though, right? Oh, yeah. People yeah. just, they must fall yeah, for it. Yeah, they do. And then I'm not trying to say I'm better than other people, but I guess I just, I've never really been enticed by that. I never felt like, I've always yeah. assumed it's a lie. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's some people they must fall for but, it. Yeah, there's some people that are desperate too. And there's like, people too, yeah. Situation, you're looking for something. Like, oh, here's the answer. Or even like, you buy your course for a thousand dollars. You know the like Nigerian print scam? Mm -hmm. People fall for that all the time too, so who knows? Who knows? People fall for shit, so. I'm about to say, like, I know it's probably things all these telemarketers are so dumb, but it must work because otherwise they wouldn't fucking do it, right? So it's gotta be mostly a numbers game. They call a thousand people to get one, one person who's an idiot that falls for it, so. Yeah. It's a million dollar industry. Yeah. Yeah, but it is crazy how, like, uh, so many things are just motivated by making a profit. Yeah. Just life. You know what? I'm kind of glad. Imagine how much it's like learning from just all the mass, like data collection. I even think it's going to be crazy because, dude, like, when it learns the stuff you don't know. Because I think that's the thing that's the most interesting about, like, life and stuff like that. And, like, us. I think there's so much we don't know. And there's so yeah. much more we can manipulate, right? Like, who knows? Maybe they can start making it so, like. Yeah, right? Who knows, dude? I wouldn't put it past, maybe I know it sounds like sci-fi stuff, but I wouldn't put it past that some of these crazy concepts actually being true. Yeah. Or something sure. that could happen. But yeah, like the thing with like Elon Musk with the Neuralink thing. Yeah. It's already like working. It's crazy. <laughs> it's the last one, right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, these just like flash random like yeah. messages on your TV. 
it's like, well, they're doing that on TV. Imagine they're doing it on like, like advanced social media shit. I think what's so crazy, bro, I think there's so many, like, I've said this before, I think, like, they, they have so much more control over us than we think, and we yeah. think we have our own consciousness and our own decisions, but I feel like, honestly, everything, all of the decisions we are probably make are influenced by, like, yeah. you know, everywhere. Probably. Yeah, dude, probably, like, I don't know, ads. Yeah, ads, and you're just colors. Like, thinking oh, yeah, that. They're saying, like, certain colors can, like, make you have, like, um, certain, like, reaction. Like, yeah, it's crazy, bro. Like, yeah, it's like state-based stuff, like, all emotional. Or even like how psychologists are like involved in gambling and stuff like yeah. that. Like, casinos, like the most enticing colors. It just kind of shows is like how manipulative, like, wow, we can very easily manipulate it. It's crazy. I don't know. It's yeah, not we're just, we're just having like too much, um, or like so much, uh, simulations. Yeah. Or, oh, sorry, stimulations. Yeah. And like info coming in that, uh, like, uh, into our brain and we're trying to like analyze everything. Yeah, dude. And it's definitely like overwhelming. Like, I know maybe I'm crazy, but I kind of like, I would love to live in, let's say, like a time like the 60s or something. At Woodstock, I know it sounds like hippie yeah. but like, you know, where people are just there to be there, you know, they're around each other, they're enjoying each other's company, mm -hmm. stuff like that. And there's no, not really any external influences. Obviously, everybody's on drugs, so they're influenced by the drugs. But no, but not even just that, but like, it's just live in a time where, like, but then who knows? The thing that's kind of crazy too is like, like these influences have been over, like ongoing for years and years, right? Like, look at, World War II, like how, how Hitler convinced the whole nation yeah. that fucking, you know, that a certain race is, like, should be like, you know, it's less than them. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know, man, it's crazy, bro. Like I, I, like I said, I kind of wish, wish I lived in a time where, you know, you used to live, you're just chilling, you know, you just yeah. like go hunting or something. Say, yeah, I'm gonna go get some fish, you trade you for some lumber, okay. But it's crazy, there's like always like some kind of like entity that's trying to control what you think. Oh yeah, it's always. crazy. And then, and I think it's kind of funny too, is even religion, even religion, right? Like, I'm sure that that was like government and stuff, it was a means of control. Like, yeah. you know, having like, oh, you know, you have to do this and this or pay your taxes or some bullshit. And it's like, oh, well, yes, yeah. So, I don't know, man, it's, it's crazy what has power over us. But I wonder, then yeah. again, is if like, as a people, we need that direction, right? You know, maybe if we didn't have that direction, it would be more chaotic. You know, maybe at the same time we think it controls us and it's like, oh, it's a lot. But, but maybe it's just we're kind of like by design, we're kind of, we always kind of talk, you know, pack leaders and stuff like that. We kind of like, maybe we're really good followers. I don't know. Yeah. Because it's like, it's kind of funny how everybody's like, oh, you know, I hate being involved with social media and nobody does anything about it. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, it, maybe it's just a thing, but maybe people are just okay with it. They, they complain about it. They're like, oh, you know, I want more control of my life, but nobody does anything about it. So that's what I was, I was always wondering. It's like, People are aware now that they're not. I kind of feel like it's kind of like both ways. Like sometimes you can talk to people and they're like, oh, okay, they, they kind of like see what's going on. Yeah. And then there's other people are just like just following TV and like. Oh, I agree. Drama from like celebrities are just like, oh, it's all be like. Yeah, I think I think you can go know, either way. It's just stuff. the thing I feel like there, there are people that are enlightened, but at the same time they don't do anything about it. Like, and that's that's what I think a lot of people are. They're, they're, like, they're like they know like, hey, this, my life's kind of bullshit. Like I do all this bullshit I don't care about. Yeah. But they just do it anyway. So I think that's a lot of people. People just yeah. kind of recognize that's what life is, right? Yeah. Like in some capacity, you just or like you kind of feel like, well, what can I do about it? Yeah, it's exactly. Like set, so. it's I like, don't know. It's like yeah, like we like why are we working and paying taxes when uh, the government can just print out money? Cover like corporations' debt. No, it, it, it's such a weird. Why take thirty percent of my paycheck and it, just print out money over there? I don't get it, dude. I think the the biggest thing for me is just like you you kind of like just say, I can capture what life really is. Like realistically, all we are we're, we're part of this big system, and we're like always you know pumping into it, making sure it, it flows and stuff. And then we kind of get married, we have kids, we have family. Done. We have a family to have kids, four kids that pump into the system. I don't know, man. It's just like, I, what else can it might be though? Maybe it's just, it's just what existence is and you just have to make the most of your, your free time and like what like, you enjoy doing, but. I always thought like we're, we're supposed to evolve. Yeah. But it's like, yeah, I'm not really evolving like the right way. No? Like, technology is definitely yeah. evolving. Oh yeah. So, like, yeah, I think that's a, that's a big deal. Like, what are we doing? No. How are we involved? Like, we're still playing each other. No. We're still looking like people and stuff. I don't know, man. It's crazy. Yeah. But I think, I think it's a good point right there. Like how, like, 
technology is accelerating way beyond us and it's going to grow at a rapid pace that maybe we're not even really meant to handle. Like, like even in that one documentary we watched, it was just like talking about how social media, are, aren't we really adapt to it, right? Like, it happened, our brains didn't really know, like, hey, like, all this dopamine, all this stuff coming in, you know, we don't know how to handle it, so. Mm -hmm. Oh no, no, dude. Like the kids that are born, it's like right away, oh, here, play me YouTube videos, they stop crying. Like, I don't know. And they're just like right away hooked on, oh, it's green. It's crazy. I just remember, like, oh, it's whatever, I get kids, but when I was working at, like, on placement and stuff like that, when I wanted to be an educational support girl worker or whatever, their kids, all they want to do is be on the iPad. That's all they want to do. Like, it's like you give them any other means of activity, it's like, oh, you can go play outside, play basketball, you can play on the scooter. It's like, no, they always no, want to go on the iPad. Yeah. It's an addiction. Yeah. And it's just like you see them, and they're literally like, they know they like they know how to navigate. They spend a ton of time on it. Yeah. And the thing that sucks is like parents don't know the information that they're feeding to their kids, right? Yeah. Like for example, I remember. So I'm going a huge tangent here. I'm not trying to skip the word, but it's just interesting conversation, I guess. Yeah. But uh, I know kids that they would watch like Minecraft videos, but it would be some guy swearing like crazy, saying these <laughs> things, and like who knows, like if. Not only are these YouTubers and stuff influencing kids, who knows if the government is kind of grooming kids to become a certain way, right? You know what I mean? Like, what if you, and at a low, you're, you're introducing them certain things? I don't know if that's happening, I'm not saying that's happening now, but what if it's an idea, it's like, hey, we want to like, raise a generation of people we can control. Yeah, I don't know, it's like recommended videos. Yeah. It's like, okay, well, who chooses those recommended videos? Exactly. Like, the person that's swearing a lot or the person that's like talking about this kind of Yeah, I don't know, it's crazy. It's. That's, I don't know, I, I, at least for me, I hope that we die before we see any major, major crazy changes. But then again, look, it's 2020 and look how much has changed recently. Like, I feel like when I was like in 2012, I was just chilling. Like 2016, I was just chilling. And then it basically, like, I think like the last few years, things just kind of hit the fucking fan, man. Like, I, I remember being in university or like all this stuff. Do you ever think about any of this shit? I don't know if it's just we become more aware. I think shit's changing, bro. I think it's probably a little yeah. bit of both, but. Yeah, maybe a little bit of both. It's crazy, bro. I don't know. I kind of want. It would be kind of cool if it just slows down and go home and just eat chips all day. TikTok, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and then even just thinking about like how much of my waking day I spend on a screen. Because realistically, I go to work, I come home, I'm on the screen too. I'm, and then I, I the thing I, I saw this meme too is kind of funny. Like, oh. I go on my phone, on my bed, to take a break from sitting in my screen, my, my computer. You yeah, know, it's kind of a stupid yeah, thing, right? Yeah. It happens to me, I'll be in there, I'm like, oh, you don't need to take a break from my computer. I'll literally, my computer, like, same as your setup, I'll go on my bed and I'll just be like, yeah. it's like, it's so stupid. Yeah, it is. That's why I kind of like working out outside. Like, oh, yeah. Outside. I like it too, and I feel like, the thing I like about yeah, outside, I think you just get a different vibe and a different feeling too, and I'm under the impression yeah. that you get influenced by this, you know, the fresh air, you look at things, it just kind of, because well, I think I've nature. Seen, yeah. There's no ads. Because we're we're meant to like we're it's, at the end of the day we're fucking animals, dude. Yeah. Which is kind of crazy to think about, dude. Like it's crazy how far we got. Oh, I know, I know. Let's think about we're before you're probably like a cave. <laughs> yeah. You punch and wood. Punch wood. <laughs> now we got all this. Yeah. But now it's like it's like this is where we're at. And this is great. Who knows where we're gonna go? And I don't know. And who knows if we're even supposed to be here? Like who knows where we're gonna get to a point where it's like it's too much? It's like hey, like. We were never really intended to be what we are, but maybe we will evolve and catch up, you know? I don't know, maybe we'll pull up big alien skulls. <laughs> and then I'll be the leader of like, hey, go, get off your phone. Yeah. It's like, whoa, how's it like doing that? The phone's just floating, my, my head got fucking 10 times bigger. Alrighty. How long? I reset it, so we're good. Okay. Yeah. This is the future. Evolution. Things got a really nice long break, and that's probably why. <laughs> that's why I talk so much. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, guys. 118. <laughs> Nice uh, wool conversation. We'll catch, you, we'll catch you next time. We'll talk about something else. We'll talk about abortions next. There we go. Hey. <laughs> All right, see you.